Tom, can you hear me properly? Yeah, I hear you great, Tyler. Good, awesome. All right. I'm just gonna give one more minute while we get this all up um, and we will be on our way. All right, let's see if I can get the screen share to work. This is always a fun experience. All right, I see it. Excellent. All right, good morning, everybody. Well, it's hard to believe it's November already. I don't know how that happened, um, but we are here and it happened very quickly. Um, so we have a couple of really exciting things to go over with you. As always, we'll post all this stuff. Tom, as you saw, has recorded it, um, and we'll try to get it out to you as quickly as possible. Um, so our agenda for today is we have, we're doing a point release. And so for many of you who are new to the community, um, this might be the first time we've done a point release that you will, will have seen. The difference between our major releases and point releases is we can only add, we can only improve things that already exist in the distribution. We can't add new functionality in a point release. So a point release is done to make some general improvements um, to that you guys, the community can undertake or something that is security related. So that's what's coming up. And that point release for this round will specify is how we are going to be delivering you a bunch of demo content to the new stuff. So we can start getting you guys into a sandbox and showing you how stuff works. So that's coming. Um, we're gonna give you a heads up on the upcoming release. We don't have poll questions today. So apologies, that's inaccurate, but we will, I'll get that updated. We do have, um, uh, it's almost like a segment we're starting called uh, common question and answers we're starting to get. So we have about three of those that have been coming from the community that we are going to provide question and answers as people are starting to get into the structure. So we'll get that in. Um, and we have a guest here from the YMCA, YUSA's marketing department, who's going to be talking a little bit about the demo content um, and get that kind of moving over. Let's so get that out there. Cool. So starting kicking us off with the point release. Um, as I said, the point release will include a series of different things, predominantly some bugs for those of you who use virtual Y and on the main site, those will get updated as well. If you haven't done your upgrades, you'll grab it on, an, on its own. But the primary reason we did this upgrade is because we wanted to provide demo content in a sandbox form so that you in the larger community had an opportunity to play with Layout Builder and in the Layout Builder structure before um, you had to commit to something, you could get a sense of it. So we wanted you to be able to do that in a safe way that wasn't on your own site, but didn't feel daunting. Additionally, for anybody who is considering the distribution, we wanted to give you guys an ability to have content downloaded, or for those of you who are upgrading your site as well, have content that was downloaded and provided to you that you can use kind of going forth. So the uh, partner of us, our partner in the marketing communication department um, went together and partnered with us over on the uh, core team to create demo content that um, the individual community members can use. And it is everything from written text icons to images. It's all gonna sit there in the back end of your site when you download it and it's available to you to use. So I'm going to pass it over to Michael uh, de Torres. Did I say that right? Did I get your last name right, Michael? Yep, all good. Perfect. Michael Torres, they, uh, he works over at VML YNR and has been very kind to join us today to provide just a little bit of background on how he came up with and how him and his team came up with the content that's available in the distribution. And then what we'll do afterwards is Avi will show you how it is, where it is, how you can find it, what's available. And um, then we will transition to that. So Michael, do you want to just talk? Do you have screenshots? How would you like us to hand this to you? I yeah, I'm happy to, yeah, I'm happy to just talk through it. So okay. um, what you're going to find in the sandbox is a sampling of 15 pages um, that come together to kind of develop an experience that, that we think casts a, a wide net um, across kind of how, how the overarching various association sites could come together. And this was based on an assessment of various sites inclusive of YUS and other um, national location sites and associations, um, putting together kind of a, a standardized content strategy framework um, that, that consistently kind of tells that, that 
templatized story across pages. So you're not going to see by any means um, a dedicated page specific to one specific sport, but rather we're going to lay out for you um, how we categorize different types of information, how we link through our experiences, and how certain page templates can be used um, to apply against any different kind of program. So we have um, all of kind of the basic um, various hierarchies of pages that you would need um, to start building out an experience. So for example, um, we have what we call a program overview page. It's a, it's a sampling of how you could start to introduce the different programs that your, um, that your site offers that then clicks into um, what we would call like an individual program page, for example. That allows you to, to have different types of offerings across um, activities, clubs, sports, anything that, that you offer. Um, and so this is um, again, not trying to provide a, a prescriptive line by line, how it, does this come to life, but rather a, a high level template strategy um, for how you can kind of take pieces of content. And then with that strategy, what we've done is, is we've tried to start applying some, um, some relevant brand applicable messaging to those pages for how that story can start to come together. So obviously every, every location is different. That copy is a purely meant as a starting point um, to be adapted to fit your your location's needs, but does take a, a lens of kind of the, the brand standard and the brand application of language and, and looking at areas where we can infuse some of that more personal aspect to your location. So you'll see um, pieces in the content bracketed where you can drop in your location or your offering um, to really feel personalized for you. And And same thing with imagery, right? We have a we have a sampling of imagery that that kind of apply, applies across the broader um, YMCA look. But again, this is a directional starting point. All of this imagery can be used, but um, can also be updated to fit your location and, and your offerings. Awesome. This is our first uh, structure at the Layout Builder demo content. So it may change a little bit here and there over time. As you know, we're a very iterative based approach. Um, so that will come about as we go. But there is, um, so to sort of talk with the collaboration and effort, there is 15 pages, as Michael called out. Um, the design system came from ImageX, the structure and content writing came from the VML team. Um, and then our five jars team on the core team did all of the development. So with that, um, here is the listing of the pages that you will be able to see on this demo site. And then Avi will be so kind to steal the screen share from me and show you guys sort of how this looks and functions in the back end and what the structure is. Did we lose Avi? Oh, I just saw him. Avi. He's rejoining right now. Is he rejoining right now? Excellent. Well, I love when people fall off just as we're going to join. You Hello. disappeared, Sorry Avi, as we were making a transition to you. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Uh, give me like just it. a moment to rearrange my windows and I will be here. <sighs> So while uh, he's getting his stuff up, what I will explain to you is a little bit about the demo content um, and you can kind of go over it again. So there's a couple things on here. We're still gonna make paragraphs available to you for those who are still on paragraphs. Um, there'll be a little bit of a back door way to get into so you can see them. Um, those will only be available for a temporary perspective, um, maybe for the next couple months, and then we'll get rid of them um, and it'll just be layout builder, but we'll show you how to do that. And then a couple things we had talked about how this was a safe space for you. Um, and why it's a safe space is the sandbox rewrites every two hours. So you feel free to go in, go make messes, change things, and then it's just going to go back to the way it was uh, about two hours later. The only thing is, is that um, I find it hard to tell people with the time zone adjustments when that two hour increment will come. So just as a heads up, as you're moving through it, you might notice you're like playing with something and then it rewrote, rewrote backwards and you'll see that. So this is coming to a theater near you. So let's show them what the VML team has done. Yeah. Um, and that we built up for them. Cool. Yeah, thanks, Kylie. All right, so yeah, I'm going to walk folks through some of the pages that Michael talked about, and then um, I will dig in to the editor side a little bit once we get through the demo. 
Um, when you load up the page, the first thing that you see here is this home branch selector. So this is some functionality that was um, existed in uh, in the old, um, the, the, this was around a little bit before, but it wasn't uh, enabled out of the box. We've cleaned this up for, um, for the new the new designs. And so this preferred location lets users set their location. Um, and this comes through lots of different places in the site. Um, it, it's kind of an initial um, way of helping users navigate and personalizing the experience a little bit. Um, we try to make it as, as little intrusive as, as, as as unintrusive as possible. Uh, so this should show up just once and uh, they can always check, don't ask me again. Uh, but I'm gonna set the downtown Springfield location and you can see um, that pops up here in, in my uh, utility bar. And so whenever I'm navigating the site, this will always be there for me to get back to my home location. So um, coming down through, talking through the homepage, um, we've got our, our brand new menu. Um, so this has nice pop-ups. There's a call to action option in the menus um, where you can kind of add a little bit more detail about, um, about each menu section uh, and a call to action there. And then also, so we've got the first level, we've got second level items, and we've got awesome third level menu items that come through. So um, We've we've uh, got a really kind of deep menu experience um, that also allows folks to you know to get into the site and, and kind of see whatever they they want to get to from uh, from that main menu. I'm going to move all of your pretty faces out of the way uh, so I can see the whole page. Uh, the, there's kind of the utility menu on the right side here. Uh, as it as it has been before with the join and login and and all of these are customizable through the 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 standard Drupal um, menu UI so you can add or change those menu items uh, the alerts as um, as they have always been those are customizable per page we've got a um, a banner here so uh, again as we've demoed before these banners are customizable and we've got uh, four, five different styles. Um, but and, and one of the things I really like about the way um, the demo content has been structured is that it shows off a lot of the different styles of, of all of the components here. So it's it's got a lot of great um, text and, uh, and, and background, but it also kind of shows off the, the development work that's been done too. Um, we've got our featured programs and some cards here. Here's a different banner. Um, listing of events. And so again, this is showing off uh, a new featured event uh, component as well as the event listing. And so we've got a really nice way of showing showing events in the pages here. The uh, ping pong blocks that are always a classic. So each of these has a, an image uh, title and some text and then a call to action. And they kind of flip flop back and forth across the page. We've got testimonials. Uh, and so this is a section of a little banner or a little carousel um, where folks can flip through testimonials about, um, about your association. And then another banner using uh, a different style. So just on the homepage, we've got three different banner styles. It's uh, showing off everything we can do. And then the footer, the new footer, um, it allows for three columns of, uh, of links in here. We've only got one to start, just keeping it clean, but uh, there's, there's lots of possibility there. Um, I'm gonna flip through um, the pages, the rest of the pages relatively quickly. Um, who we are uh, is you know kind of an about page. It has um, an example of this sidebar menu uh, again, showing off some of the icons that uh, that we've added to the um, to to the demo content. Um, this is just kind of a um, uh, a table block with uh, with some some plain text. Going back to some ping pongs again, more of the uh, the cool new icons uh, in an icon grid. This is the the huge new um, statistics block. So this this gives you up to four different statistics that you can list with an image 
Uh, it's, it's super cool. There's a little animation on the load too. Uh, a little more text and a partner's block um, where you can kind of show off uh, logos of uh, folks who are associated with, uh, with the association. The programs list, uh, again, this is showing off the, that um, multi-level menu. So we can go into the main kind of program overview. Um, this is, you know, again, a banner, the, uh, the quick links on the side, some ping pongs. So we're gonna click on youth sports. And oh, that, uh, that link is different. Nope, about that, that was, uh, there we go. Um, oh yeah, so, okay, that was the page that I showed before. That's the individual uh, sports page. Yeah, so, um, so we also like, this is again, a different banner style, um, sponsors, similar stuff across all of the, uh, the pages. This is the, um, this is the small banner style, um, uh, a different, different set of cards listing that kind of shows off the, the different, different levels of sports that are there available. Some frequently asked questions. This is a new block that, uh, that's pretty great too. Um, I'll go into a couple of the specialized pages. Um, the location finder page, um, this is all new as well. So we've got a new search bar up at the top, uh, an amenities listing that's, that's filterable, and then the locations uh, grid down here. You can see I selected my preferred location before, and now that's, that's got a little indication here. Um, I'll go into the, this new location as well. And so you can see this is the the new um, the new location page. Uh, we've got the the location menu here. So we've actually got a sub page of this uh, location. Some social media stuff, uh, the listing of branch amenities that has open and closed amenities. Uh, again, some different configurations. Um, carousel that's got um, got lots of imagery and also the option for um, for some text boxes on the side there more events and cards and banners uh, I think membership and schedules are pretty similar as well we got our join page with some frequently asked questions. Uh, and there are a handful more that are all listed in um, in the deck. And so we'll share the links to all of those pages. Um, I'm gonna go in and uh, log in here. So and one so, of the things, Yeah, go ahead, Kelly. No, well, I was gonna say, while I'll be logging in, you will notice there was a more button on the link there with a little drop down carrot. If you're looking for paragraph content type, we are going to put it under the more button. Um, and that's how, if you're looking at it from a front end experience, you'll be able to find it. Um, and it'll be kind of hidden under there so that it's available for the next little bit. Um, it's not going to be as elaborate as it was previously. We're just in the process of producing those pages down. So if you check out today, you'll see more. If you check out in a couple of days, it'll have less. Um, but we're going to just put a couple there for those of you who um, are looking for it. Um, and still have yeah. questions about it. But again, the sandbox rewrites every two hours. So it is for you to play with. Yeah. So um, I put uh, I put a note in chat. Um, the, the sandboxes are always available for, for everybody to use. Um, you can always find the links to the sandboxes on the docs. So I went to the docs here. Um, the main documentation page is where you get the search. 
and then you can search for sandboxes. Um, so there, there are lots. Um, you'll notice there, there are lots of links on these pages for all kinds of different sandboxes we have. Uh, those help us through the development process. But um, if you go into sandboxes.y.org, you can find kind of go all the way to the to the bottom right of this page. That's the the uh, like big everything in in the uh, the in the distribution sandbox. Um, there's still a couple things that we're fixing up today on this, um, but these will um, these will be all ready this afternoon. Um, we will post in the in the um, document that we will send over in the Slack channel. There is a link directly to it if you want to go into it that way. Um, and Avi will post has posted in the chat just because of a little bit of a security based structure um, the username and password. So if you want to grab it out of there um, with the link to between him and Tom, they've kind of got you covered in there. But grab those links from there. Um, if anyone at any point wants to get access to the sandbox and just doesn't remember the username and password. Pick anyone on the core team. We all have it memorized. Um, it hasn't changed in a long time. We haven't changed that username and password in a while. We're not showing good username and password security on that one. Um, but we were we're happy to share it with you and make sure you have what you're looking for. Sorry, Abby. No, that's all good. Uh, yeah, so I've logged in. Uh, I just clicked on the home page and I'm back here. Uh, and again, just to show kind of as Michael was talking about, um, these are these are these are meant as a template. Um, they're, they're meant to be a starting point for you. Um, and if you, you know, if you, you can, you can take these pages, um, and you can edit them and you can make them your own. So, you know, I, I'm going to go with purple. Uh, I'm going to go in here and say, um, we are no longer the YMCA of Springfield. We're just the, we'll, we'll say Hyde Park. That's, that's where I am. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll go back and change this because um, we want to, we want to get rid of the demo. Oh, sorry. This is, this is just the, uh, the link in there. Um, so I'm going to update that, uh, that banner. Um, I'm going to save this layout. So we've got a purple page now with our new name. Uh, and again, you can go in, uh, the, the, the layout tab is where you can configure all the content, uh, but the edit tab here still has some of the metadata that will go um, into previews and also the URL alias. So as you're using these pages, um, you know, you wanna make sure you uh, take the demo out of those those aliases. Um, I think it's, we, we've left those there. Um, to help you, um, to help indicate that it's demo content, um, and uh, and help you not uh, not forget to to turn stuff off. So uh, there we go. I, I changed this page to purple. I kind of updated the name, um, and you know you can kind of take these and and go through, and hopefully this will give you um, uh, an easier way to kind of get started with Layout Builder with a little bit lower lift. Um, yeah. Um, it's very much our hope to the wise that are struggling with content that this will provide you support. As you can see, there's a ton of good images in there. Um, we're hoping to add more over time and a little bit more of a robust structure, but there's 15 pages of content that will get you started with small changes, hopefully minimizing that barrier to entry for wise. This just felt genuinely overwhelming too. Um, and I don't even know the count of icons, but there's quite a few um they've put in as well so thank you to michael michael did you have anything else you wanted to add now that you sort of have a visual to put onto it before we transition no i don't think so awesome. well we hope you guys love it um we hope you guys play in it i hope you guys download it and use some of it it is templated based we're going to continue to grow on this to make the barrier to getting a new website um easier but also no to those wise that want something entirely of their own language and their own content structure. You can do that as well. This is just there to give you a, a step in the right direction and to provide um, some guidance if you want it. Um, cool. So I am gonna steal. Yeah. Um, I figured um, I'm gonna demo these 
the the, the Q and A, so I could uh, I could just keep uh, keep rolling. Oh, perfect, cool. Yeah. Um, um, so the next, yeah. do you have, do you have the slides up? I just get there. We go. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah. So uh, as Kylie said. Um, we uh, we get lots of questions um, from from folks across the board, um, and uh, and I wanted to take some time in these calls to to just uh, try and answer some questions and hopefully maybe spur some other ones. Um, so um, I think we um, once we finish the recording, we'll hang out for a little bit too. If you have other questions, you're welcome to um, you're welcome to stay on the line, and we can uh, we can help you out. Uh, we're also going to keep this uh, high level. We get lots of questions from developers too. We're not going to go into um, how to debug your updates and uh, and and all of those things here. But um, one of the things that um, that we've added to the documentation recently uh, is about buttons in the new text editor. Uh, this has been a thing. I know the the, the buttons have been um, something that that folks really love uh, in the distribution and. And from the time I started here, everybody was talking about adding buttons everywhere, uh, which is great. It's great to uh, to to have um, lots of calls to action in a site. Um, so something in the new uh, in the new update with a new um, text editor changed, and the the button button, as I like to call it, that uh, that helps you make the buttons in text and in the text editor uh, has disappeared. We, we know about this. Um, it's an issue uh, with some upstream um, uh, components that we're working with the Drupal community to resolve. Uh, but until then, we wanted to make sure that, that folks were still able to make their buttons. Uh, there is a new page in the documentation uh, under user documentation, text editor, adding links, where I have all this, um, and I'm going to walk through it with you. So. Um, in a page, you're in a page, and instead of, um, yeah, I think we have a demo. We've got kind of a, a, a dummy page in here that was just a placeholder. So uh, it's got a bunch of lore maps on and, uh, and you know, nothing, uh, nothing else. Um, so I'm going to go into the layout builder. I'm going to, hit configure on this this big text box here text box and uh and we want to add a link so uh i'm just going to hit enter and uh i'm going to make a button so if we to, to make a button first we just type the text that we want to be um that we want the button to be we'll uh i'll use the link button here and uh I'm, I'm just going to uh, put a little pound. Um, this can be like demo programs, something like that. So you can always put your link in there. And then to make this a button, I'm going to open up these advanced styles and use CSS classes. So if you have, if, if you've been around for a little while, you might remember this uh, YMCA Lincoln demo page. Um, they've had this up for a while and it's, Super great. I've referred to this quite often, um, but they have uh, they have a list of a bunch of the different button styles that exist. Um, some of these have changed with the new designs, uh, but most of them should still should still work. So you can see here kind of the names. There's default, primary, success, info, warning, danger, um, and then there are lots of others um, that aren't. Um, you know, are, the, these are kind of out of the box from the like again the upstream theme. They may not all be brand compliant, but they're they're there, and you can use them at your uh, discretion. Um, so I'm just going to do a default button. Um, I'm going to go back here. So whenever you're adding a button, you do BTN. That's kind of like make a button, and then BTN dash default. Um, there we go. 
Uh, and so you want to add these as the CSS classes, D E F A U L T. Yes. Um, that will, it won't show you much in the editor, but then once we save it, we don't have a button. No. Uh, I think if I use, so that's the, uh, the default style. I think if I use the primary, that'll get us what we want. So again, I, I come back in here. I'm going to hit the edit link. I'm going to open advanced and I'm going to do primary. Okay. You can see this looks a little bit different now. It's got an outline there. We're going to hit update. Hey, we've got a button. Uh, I'm going to save my layout. And there we go. This button uh, will also work with the, the colorways. So if this, um, if we were to change this whole page to purple or orange, um, this button style would change as well. Uh, I believe that's only with the primary button uh, and there's other options there as well. So that's your little tutorial on how to make buttons. We've also had a couple of questions uh, about component names. Um, when we made all of the new components, we, we did a kind of giant overview of everything that existed in the distro and tried to rationalize some of the names. Um, we talked a lot about heroes and we found that some people didn't understand what the, the hero component was. Um, the hero component is now banner. So if you, um, if you are in your page and editing the layout, um, when you add a block and then create custom block, that banner is right there. And that's where you get all of the different options for, for the banners. Uh, same thing with the, the simple text as well. So, um, we had created this table component that had some specific, um, specific styles for making responsive tables and making tables look really great in um, in the new layout. Uh, but that can also be used for simple text as well. So just creating a table component will give you a title, a subtitle, and uh, a text editor, and you can do anything you like in there. That is it for my common Q&A. Uh, well, you can keep this, yeah. you can keep okay. the screen share going for the next little bit. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for that. Just a quick round on what's coming down the pipe is we've made a few movements in our release structures. Um, so if you can go to the first structure. So on December, I believe it's the 12th, if not and around there, uh, it's the second Tuesday of December, we will be releasing the following items. So a program and subprogram category content type that's just about finished now. And that'll be coming out to you for those of you who've used it before. It's relatively similar functionality. Um, membership builder, so it works with your new layout builder content types, and then a number of sort of admin UX improvements, specifically in the back end, um, and a lot of those icons you sort of saw on Avi's screen to make life a little bit easier. We will also be releasing our Canadian colorways, so to all of our Canadians who have yet to be able to transition to um, the design system, that will be released. It will be the Shine On branding, uh, which is the new branding released this summer, so we're focusing on that structure. Outside of the Canadian colorway, we are adding color structures for the colorway tags for the H1 through H6 to align with brand standards. So that will be available to you, as well as just some small little UX improvements. There will be a security upgrade from Drupal 10 to 10.1, um, and a Drush will get updated to version 12. So a little bit of an update there. And then our next sort of big feature release that we've been talking about, we're really excited to show you this. This is a promotional content type that we're going to be launching. There's going to be another phase to this you're going to see in our March release, um, where we allow you guys to create internal promotions and have a whole structure and system for them to be displayed and deployed on your site. The concept behind the promotion content type is that it minimizes the load for your teams internally to know when to schedule and unschedule content, that it runs through a system. So you can pre-program it, pre-schedule it, it comes up and it comes down and there's a default content to fall back to it when it, when that promotion is done running. So you can have it all pre-configured and pre-set up. So there's no more changing the content on like five o'clock on a Friday or 
even where it's nine o'clock on a Sunday, so it's ready for Monday morning. Um, so getting all that done. It will be available in the first iteration in our carts, in the modal, and in an activity finder. And then in March, we're gonna see a few more blocks. So can we go to March? Awesome. So March is already getting very packed and we're just about to start it. So March, we will be adding to the community a weekly schedules management in Drupal. So what this is, is for those of you who use PDF schedules and link to them to your website, this is not great accessibility practices. So we have created you a schedule that replicates a PDF schedule, but is actually inline on Drupal um, that you'll be able to use. Um, there's going to be some new advanced filtering options for Activity Finder um, that we're handling, as well as a uh, little bit of a glow up for your um, event content type that'll allow you to have recurring events, multi-day events, and multi-location event handling, which has always been a sore spot for the distribution. We wanted to make sure you guys can truly show that you are hosting events at a golf course, um, and it's not just you. All the branches are doing it, and it will show appropriately. Um, we are seeing a huge number of requests for Traction Rec, and for that to be available in Activity Finder so you can build programs online. So we um, need to send a big, big, big thank you to the YMC of Pierce Kitsap County, who has donated their Traction Rec um, implementation, and that's gonna get a little bit of refactoring. So it works um, for everybody, not just them, and we'll put it into the distribution. So thank you to them. We are also adding the Y360 schedules integration. Um, the Y360 team has donated this as well. So we're really excited to get that up and moving forward um, with, between them and Wichita. Um, we're working on search API for Layout Builder. Um, so that's a big one to make sure that pages get indexed and are searchable properly. Um, trying to get two-factor authentication for admins. And then we have two small hopes um, on here. We're hopeful that the Y template, um, this is sending some outside approval that's not within our control, as well as the design um, iconography for the design system. So being able to have a larger amount of icons in the system than we currently have. Um, we'll keep working on those if they don't make March, we're happy to sort of move them out. And then our last release, which is June and beyond, we are working on community supports features. So we're doing a lot of, and we're going to be reaching out to you guys in the community to have some support on this, which is improved donations and donation APIs, financial aid calculators, or that scholarship program you have for your community members, a membership calculator redesign, um, a staff directory, automated marketing integrations, and then Facebook event integration. This was TBDD because it's very challenging to do. Um, and so we wanna see if, if it is actively available to everybody. So working through that, some career stuff, and then just some automated testing. But if you have any feedback or you would like us to reprioritize some of these because they're more important to you, please feel free um, to use our roadmap feature here at the portal. It's at ds-docs.y.org backslash roadmaps. And in there you can submit rankings, feedback or additional ideas. And we always welcome those thoughts. Avi, do you want to walk through all of the next couple slides there? Just the yes, portal. As I un uh, you can... unmute myself. No problem. Um, so we sort of covered the portal here a little bit in the last slide, but. Yeah, um... we've covered the, the portal previously. Um, so this is kind of a repeat of, of what we've discussed mm -hmm. previously. And I've just kind of left it in here for your reference. So yeah, we'd love to hear your input and feedback on any of the current ideas we have in our roadmap or any new ideas that you might have as well, since we're planning out 2024 currently, as Kylie mentioned. All of yeah. 2024, not yeah. just the beginning. All We need to go all the way to December. So anything you guys have that you need, um, we're here to support you. <laughs> it's a lot of releases it's for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cool. So you want to go down? Yep. And, and then, uh, yeah, as usual, the last... Um, the last set is our community resources. Uh, as usual, if you are not in Slack, uh, I just dropped a link to join in the chat. Um, but here are all of our other resources, ds-ymci.org ds is kind of the gateway. Uh, ds-docs.y.org is all of our documentation. Uh, YouTube, YMCA Digital Services. Uh, we've got videos and tutorials up there, as well as the monthly calls if you ever want to catch up. And YCloud, YUSA on GitHub is the main code repository with all of the components. And we've got stuff on Drupal.org as well. And yeah, and then the YUSA Slack, as I mentioned. Awesome. Well, as always, we thank you for your participation and joining us every month on these calls. Next month, we will be showing you the release structure. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to demo that pro 
promotion content types, you guys can get a state of idea of how that works. Um, it came to us uh, as a request from Brandywine and we're very, very grateful for their support as we've gotten it this far. Um, and you'll see more of that coming soon. So please join us in December. Um, thank you again for your time. We will post all of these links into the Slack channel. So if you're looking for any reference material to be there, um, and we are again, excited to show you some of the more stuff we're working in a month, but thank you for joining us. Tom, anything else for you? No, nothing on this end. Just, uh, again, you know, we'll hang out if there's any questions or discussion, feel free just to uh, unmute and uh, shout it out. Awesome. Right. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.